Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on Valley News Live at 10 o'clock. A quick look at that radar shows clear sky up toward the north, but we're still seeing some clouds in the southern valley. And where that clear sky is up toward Devil's Lake, Warren, Grand Forks, that's where that coldest air is as we speak. Those clouds are not there to act as kind of like a blanket to keep the heat that built up today uh, insulated there in the northern valley. Where those clouds are, we are seeing a bit more warmer air, but uh, still cold, to say the least, in Fargo and Point South. We are seeing even a bit of some uh, patchy blue on that radar. Uh, could we see a few spotty snowflakes there from, say, Tower City there through Barnes County, down through Hanson toward the Ellendale areas as well, but not looking like anything too impactful for us in our southeastern North Dakota neighborhoods. There's those current temperatures, as I was saying, where that sky is clear, that's where we've got those temperatures 15 to 25 degrees below zero at this time. 16 below in Grand Forks, 22 below in Bedette. Negative six in Fargo is one of the more mild spots. But then we are just above zero uh, and to near 10 degrees for our friends there in Alexandria. Thanks to those clouds acting as kind of like a blanket to insulate those temperatures. But those north winds at this hour, around 5 to 15 miles per hour, are giving us those wind chills which sit currently at uh, 22 below in Halleck, 21 below in Grand Forks, 19 below in Fargo. So as temperatures continue to slide through the overnight, those winds will stay with us, and we will see those wind chills stay dangerous even through the morning hours tomorrow. As you see on our hour by hour, the pink temperatures are the wind chill and the white temperatures, the air temperature. So as we go through the overnight, you see those uh, wind chills falling to 30 to 40 degrees below zero. And those air temperatures in the Northern Valley falling to near 20 or even colder below zero. Uh, waking, waking up in Fargo, seeing the, uh, down to about 11 below zero with that 25 degree below zero wind chill. So basically any bus stop across the region, have those kids bundled up and also uh, have that emergency kit in your vehicle if you're traveling out there in the cold, just in case your vehicle gets stranded anywhere in these colder temperatures. Just want to keep you safe. Uh, in those cold temperatures. By lunchtime tomorrow, that's when the wind chill advisory expires, is around noon on Wednesday. But we will still see some wind chills 20 degrees to 25 degrees below zero at lunchtime. Air temperatures, those white numbers, we see some positive uh, single digits to the south, negative single digits off toward the north around lunchtime tomorrow. A few passing clouds here or there, not looking too bad. Maybe see some sunshine, so may need the sunglasses out there for your Wednesday. And we do see those air temperatures staying in the single digits to negative single digits from south to north. So I'm not expecting it to be as cold tomorrow night than it will be tonight. That is the good news that we have to look forward to for uh, our Wednesday night into Thursday. But for Saturday, this is looking ahead to the weekend, could still see a wintry system making its way through. Still uncertain about the timing of the system, the intensity and the track. But at this point, the main impact does look to be farther off toward the south. But we still could see some areas that gets several inches of snowfall into Sunday. So, of course, stay tuned. Uh, we will be monitoring that track for more information on that. But there's a look at the American model for the weekend. You see some wind. You see some snow on the uh, American model. And it looks to be winding down by uh, late Saturday, early Sunday. So, of course, stay tuned for that one as we get closer to the weekend. But we do have that first weather day for Saturday. Here's our beautiful photo of the day. Clouds at sunset. The snow, the trees, the clouds. Thanks, Nick, for uploading this beautiful photo to our website, valuenewslive.com. There is a bit of the reprieve from the cold I was talking about earlier. We're up around 20 for Thursday, 24 for Friday, and we're into the mid to upper 20s through the weekend. Still could see that uh, wintry system there for the weekend. We're watching very closely. But Mike, Andrea, Groundhog Day, that's on Tuesday. Temperatures back into those lower 20s as we move into the month of February.